Hey guys, Mars Framens here. Yesterday I was messing around with Unreal Engine motion tracking using my old Kinect 2 from Xbox One. I was using IPI software that is 30 day free. After that, there is two paid options. If you have an old Kinect lying down somewhere collecting dust, then in second part of the video, I am gonna show you how I set it up. But before that, I just wanted to share you a few thoughts about uh, what I noticed and what I think about it. Good thing is it works. It's tracking and if you have old Kinex somewhere and you don't have anything else to track your body, it, it's perfect. Yeah, it tracks, it works. It has some problems, as you saw, like if I'm putting my hands closer to my body or my legs are too close, uh, it gets confused and makes some weird glitches. But I blame on that that I haven't practiced yet the motions. You know, I need to work on my posture, I need to understand better how far my arms can be, where my legs should be. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna make a follow-up after the 30 days and we will see if I, we can improve some of the stuff. But uh, there's one really big issue, it doesn't track fingers, at least I couldn't find it. So it's always gonna be static and it's gonna require uh, post-processing, you know, fixing hands if you wanna hold the gun, weapons and stuff like that, which is pretty bad. So it's completely useless for commercial projects, unless, you know, you want to spend a bunch of time afterwards cleaning up and, and editing that. No, either way, you know, motion capture, so you would need to do the same thing. But, but as I said, yeah, it works. It's 30 day free software. Uh, if you have old Kinect, then why not? I wouldn't suggest you to now scout the eBay and try to buy the Kinect, because I don't know if it's flim worth to spend any money but if you have it then why not so before I'm showing you how I set it up uh, please press like and subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it and it would really really help me so guys let's jump into it so first thing is let's go to the IPI software website and we need to download both softwares IPI recorder and mockup studio after you download the softwares let's install both of them First, we are installing Mockup Studio. Make sure everything works fine. Install everything the same as I have. You can see the list on the screen. After the setup is done, we're gonna install IP Recorder. Once again, double check that everything is installed the same as I have. After you have installed both softwares, let's open IPR Recorder. If everything is fine, your Kinect gonna appear as recording devices. Let's click on the Kinect and then let's press record video. So make sure that your Kinect is showing the video. So first thing we need to do is we need to set up the background. Let's click on the background and then let's click on evaluate the background. There are two very important things. You need to be out of the frame and it should be enough floor space for the Kinect to track. If there is not enough floor space, it's not gonna go through. We can now press record and start recording. I'm gonna put full screen. It's very important to be in the T-pose at the beginning of the video. You're gonna see later why. After you're done recording, it's time now to open IPI Mockup Studio 4. Click continue using free trial. Next thing we do, we press new and we open just recorded a video file. Here I usually don't change anything. What I noticed is previous time when I changed to my actual height, uh, Unreal Engine was crashing. So for now on, just leave it as it is. First thing we wanna do is we wanna click export and in the dropdown, we are gonna choose UA4 mannequin. Uh, it's gonna be easier to see if there's any kind of failures, any kind of glitches. Now let's go back to the tracking. Everything looks fine. As you remember, I mentioned that it's really important to be in a T-pose at the beginning of the video. And you can see why, because software immediately recognizes where you started to capture your movement. If you don't stay in the beginning in a T-pose, then you're gonna need to find manually where, where you wanna start to track your movement. So after the tracking is done, we need to get uh, rid of the jittering. If you skip this step, then 
when you can import your uh, animations in Unreal Engine, your character is just gonna be all the time jittering and making some kind of weird things. So I usually put to the five and I haven't seen any kind of problems for you that. So after you're done, press export and press export animation. Now just save animation somewhere. I'm gonna create a folder for that. And save. Click export t pose in the first frame. I don't know if it's really necessary, but it was just more visually appealing that it starts in the t pose, but it, it's not necessary. After you're done exporting, now it's time to open Unreal Engine. Find your animation and just drop it in Unreal Engine. FBX import window gonna appear. Now in the skeleton drop down window, find the mannequin that you wanna use. Make sure it's the correct one, cause sometimes if you're using multiple projects, you're gonna have multiple mannequins. And press import all. Now you can take animation and drop it in the scene. For some kind of reason, your character is gonna be with the face in the ground, so you need to rotate it up for 90 degrees. Adjusting the camera so we can see the character better. Now you can just press play simulate and that's it. Look at this. Uh, for some reason my animation works better and I have less glitches on the U UE4 mannequin. As you saw with the metahuman my hands are more often in, in inside the body. With UE4 mannequin animations look a bit smoother so I'm just gonna take a look at it. It's probably some kind of bone placement with shoulders or something. So it was pretty fast and easy setup and we created our own animation. As you can see, yeah. The only downside is it's not recognizing the fingers. So everything is with uh, straight hands and yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.